We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Preak Show. I am your host today, Bumpy Big Squiggums. And after many, many years, well over a decade that I learned that this game existed, that the original version of this game existed, I finally get a chance to dive in, check out, and play Tactics Ogre Reborn. It is the latest from Square Enix releasing today, November 11th, 2022. And I am over the moon. I'm excited. I barely slept last night. I was anticipating this coming to me. I was hoping Square Enix would send it to me. They did. A big shout out and a thank you from the very bottom of my heart for sending this my way. It means so much and I'm very grateful. Oh, I'm excited. I like. I, I legitimately have wanted to play Tactics Ogre, Let Us Cling Together, or, and then once I found out that this existed, uh, Tactics Ogre Reborn for so long. So to finally get that chance, to get that opportunity, it means the world to me. So I am, I'm here for it. I really hope the game is every bit as awesome as I've, as I've heard, as this is supposed to be one of the cornerstones to the genre that I love, to the tactical, Tactics Ogre. the tactical turn-based strategy games that I love. So I'm very, very, very excited. It is an age of war. The wheel begins to turn. Even my dog is excited. She's like, what are you being so loud for, Dad? It's okay, baby. Chosen child, when were you born? All right, now I've not touched this yet. I literally just got it installed it i'm here i'm ready i'm eager let's get into this oh, there are uh, three titles in recent memory or maybe some extended memory that 100 percent must play for me that fit my channel to a t from square enix and that would be triangle strategy that would be tactics ogre reborn and that would be final fantasy tactics if when we ever get a remastered or just a you know current gen um, update to that game i'm here for it these are these are the things that fit my channel best so <sighs> all right i'm going to calm down we're going to we're going to soak in and bask in the glory of the game and we're going to have a good time i hope you guys are here for it i hope you guys get a chance to grab the game yourselves and play it i think it's like available on like every platform known to man if not maybe it's the switch playstation and pc Sorry, Xbox guys and gals. All right. I, it might be. I, I'm not sure. Anyway, Chosen Child, when were you born? I was born. I was born on April the 13th. Or day seven of white scale. The Emperor. Heavy rests the crown. The people of your kingdom rise against you. What course do you take? Rally my armies. Abdicate the throne. Treat for peace. Oh, we we fighting. Bring it. Bring it. Heavy rest of crown indeed. The moon. Immortality. Thy name is desire. In a fit of passion, you take your friend's life. I would never do that. Your, your, your friend's lover. What would you what will you do next? Keep the lover for my own? Well, I mean if I did, put it for my mind, a savor the moment. Look. If I, if I did indeed do this, absolutely, it would then become mine. My friend would have to uh, accept it and move on, for lack of a more accurate or better term. So, the hermit, have no fear of failure. A sage will grant you a single piece of wisdom. What would you learn of him? The secret of victory, the secret of wealth, the secret of winning hearts. Ooh. Honestly, all three of these are good, and, and I know people are like, "Oh, the secret of wealth—that's shallow." Look, <clears throat> when, when you when you make enough money or you have enough money that you can do what you want, stuff gets a little easier. When you have to scrimp and save and do things and and go without, you might maybe appreciate stuff a little bit more. But stuff is more challenging. More money, more problems. More money, different problems. Just saying. But no, we're probably gonna go with winning hearts. The High Priestess, the chains of faith bind the heart. All men have flaws. Which of yours would you remedy? Ooh. I don't know. I have all of these in different variants, and in none of them are, like, significant flaws, but... 
Uh, let's say my sloth. I'd like to be able to have more energy and more um, go get them type situation. The Wheel of Fortune. Opportunity knocks but once. You stand at the end of a hard-fought battle. Why have your forces lost? I don't know. Inadequate troops, I guess. Ill luck. Well, you know, honestly, for me, probably ill luck. Um, we're just saying inadequate troops. I don't know what any of that means, but I'm I'm here for it. Whose blessing doth thouest seek? Uh, do I get the? I'm gonna hit next. Is he gonna let me see the? the okay, yes. That's a cool graphical design. That's really cool looking. Uh, ha, 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 Nella, goddess of air. Li, Liunaram, Li, Liunaram. Yep, yep. I said that totally flawlessly as always. Goddess of ice. Zoshonel, of the goddess of fire. Are they all goddesses? Yep. Vas, goddess of earth. And Nes Nestoth, Nestoroth, Rot, Nestoroth. Can't say it. Nestoroth. Oh boy, it's going to be one of those, huh? All right, that's fine. Goddess of lightning. And Greuza, goddess of water. Oh, she got a little dragon buddy. Oh, I don't know, man. She got a unicorn friend. You just have some rocks. You got some water, air, cloud things. Well, ice crystals. Since I can't say it, I, I think it's going to be funniest to have a nest herit or a nestrot as our goddess. So let's go with that. You take this? Uh, sure. Yep. Just don't ask me to say old Nessie's name. Which path will you walk? The curtain rises. I, I don't I don't know. I suppose we'll find out, won't we? Square Enix presents. Ah, exciting times. Oh, look at it, look at it, look at it. Sorry. Ogre Battle Saga, Episode 7. I, that doesn't really make sense. This isn't the second game in the Ogre Battle series? How is it the seventh? Let us cling together. How is it the seventh saga chapter story thing? Okay, okay, we got some cast going on here. Look at him! Look at him! I'm pretty excited, folks. I, if, you, if you couldn't tell, I've not played this before at all, so I'm very very eager to dive in. I, I played, I, I played, obviously I played Final Fantasy Tactics. I've beaten it a few times, in fact. Uh, it is my favorite Final Fantasy game, even though it's not technically a Final Fantasy game. It is, but it's an offshoot, right? It's not part of the main uh, through fair. Um, the other games that are Cornerstones, I guess if there's four cornerstones, it would be Tactics Ogre, uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, Shining Force, and Fire Emblem. There, there may be others, but I think those might be the four pillars that the entire tactical turn-based strategy game uh, genre has birthed from. So this is the only one I have not played before, and I'm pretty excited. In fact, this is the only one that I haven't had any coverage on the channel of either. I, I believe I've covered all of the other games in some capacity. Most I have beaten already um, on the channel. All right, sorry, chapter one, I, I totally missed it. Losing my mind here. All right, all right. It's as we heard, Denim. Lancelot's returned. Lancelot spelled that way. All right, that's cool. I'm not mad at it. Then it's time. Right, sister? Okay, we got it. We got Time advance. to end right. this madness. We can't beat him. You know that. I mean, maybe. What are you saying, Kasua? You'd have us pass up a chance Kachu. like this? 
It's foolishness to think the three of us might defeat the Dark Knights. They're the ones who have been foolish, and we stand to gain. Fair. Don't tell me you're scared. If you've lost your taste for blood, I'll do this myself. <sighs> That's enough, Vice. Let's go. Indeed. All right, I'm not sure what we're doing. We're going to fight some Dark Knights. I mean, I'm here for it. No, this, this won't, won't oh, end well. So, and what so do we to... gain by taking their lives anyway? I'm so used to having to read everything. Ah, this is great. Lancelot is captain of the Dark Knights, and they are the source of Barkram power. Kill Lancelot, and you remove one of the pillars supporting them. Mm -hmm. The Barkram will falter, if only for a moment. Yet that moment will be all the encouragement the Galgastani require. They want Valeria for their own. The turmoil of the last war has only just settled. And you'd start another. Are we Wallister so free of turmoil now, Kashua? Huh. We are less than vermin in their eyes. Insects to be crushed underfoot. If war begins anew, we'll die just the same. Uh-oh. Shh, they're here. I, I don't know what's happening. Flank them. Denim, go around behind. But I like it. Probably. Right. Except for Kachua, she doesn't seem real thrilled. Are we really gonna try this? Okay! Just, just immediately going after Lancelot. Alright, oh my god, look at it! Oh, it's so cool! Ah, alright. Apparently they're just hanging out. Okay, and we get a tutorial! This is fantastic! Once the battle begins, Units with the lowest recovery time RT move first. Okay. Lowest recover. All right, all right. The order in which uh, units move is called attack turn. You can issue commands such as move, act, or, or on a unit's attack turn. So battle begins. Units with the lowest recovery time move first. So. Okay. Okay. Uh, so the stat we need to know about to see how quickly they're going to be able to go and do stuff is the recovery time, the RT. However, the order in which they move is just referred to as attack turn. So it's like turn order, which is then, you know, completely grabbed by the recovery time stat. Like it's it's dictated by that. Okay. Issue command, place the cursor over the active. Yep, hit A, list available command, move act will appear. Cool. You cannot issue commands to your units during the attack turn of enemies. What? Why would I think that I could do that? Or other units not under your control. However, you can press the Y to interrupt, enabling you to examine units, perform similar tasks. Huh, that's interesting. So if I back out, I can look at them. Oh my god, move so quickly. Can I, can I, can I turn the map? Is there, oh god. Oh no. What did I do? I, I don't know what I did. Oh no, how did, how did I do that? Okay, right analog stick does all, all this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> So we can turn, that's it, that, those are all the directions that we can turn. Alright, that's cool. Oh, they have the cursor going the wrong way. Alright, one sec guys and gals. Okay, so they do have the option to change your cursor from A to B. Uh, I prefer the B method. I like when I press up it to go in this direction. Uh, it bothers me when it goes this way. Uh, it's just whatever you get used to. I am very used to this being the way to do it. So. I am so grateful that this is an option. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you hit um, your right analog stick in, you get a health bar over people. And then, I don't know what that is. You get like a different version of the health bar. Pretty cool. I hope I don't look like an idiot, because I've not played this. I don't know what's actually going on. All right, warrior, mainstay melee weapon attacker, adept with a wide variety of weapons, jack of all trades, master of none. Short sword buckler, cast stones. Okay, we can chuck stones. I am a fan. Wait. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Should I chuck a stone at something? I don't think I can. 
Cancel. Nope, not, I don't want to cancel. Oops. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And then we end turn. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, and then yes, the facing. Ah, oh, I love this. Oh, oh, I have no control. Oh my god, he's just going right in. He just went up and punched the dude. There? I mean, you would think that he would use a weapon. He just punched a guy. All right. Wait, we're friends all going over now? Friends of the resistance, and no friends of yours. Really? It seems like a bad game plan. The resistance. I expected a warmer welcome than this. <laughs> They're children. Wait. Do you even know who we are? You're Lancelot, and that makes you my enemy. Uh, Lancelot is my name, true. How is it that you know me? How could I forget you? The Dark Knights laid torch to this town only a winter past. The Dark Knights? But we come from the kingdom of New Zenobia to the east. Okay. And Lancelot of the Dark Knights has but one eye. You have two. And... Interesting. Weird. One eye, you say. Would that he lacked my name as well. His reputation, it seems, does me no favors. No marauding knights us, but mercenaries come looking for work. Ah, huh. okay. I am Lancelot Hamilton, a holy knight of Zenobia. And I am Canopus, the one they name Windcaller. Our aged companion here is... The Starseer, Warren Oman. At your service. What's up, Warren? Mirden Warhorn, a knight of Zenobia, as it please you. Okay. Gildis is my name. There now, no need to be frightened. I wasn't. I, I don't... I don't know what to say. Uh. Forgive us, good knights. But perhaps this meeting might benefit us both. We have need of strength such as yours. Oh, yeah? Ah, tell us your tale, then. We are strangers in this land, and I would hear more of it. Vice is my name. It would seem that you are not our enemy. I am the Sybil Kashua, and this is my brother, Denim. Uh, you must forgive our error. Stay on your guard, sister. Ah, uh, forgive our error. I'm Denim. Please, forgive our error. Already forgotten. Though you did give us quite the surprise. Now... Do you think we might talk somewhere out of this wretched heat? We have just the place. It's not much, but it's secret, and it's safe. Interesting. Okay, well, we, we didn't fail horribly our first mission. As it is, we lack swords enough to face the Galgastani. The Bakram share our deficit, a deficit they've remedied by joining forces with Lodis. So Lotus sent them the Dark Knight's Los Lorian. I have no idea what's happening, but this is cool. I'm trying Los to put it all Lorian together. Los Lorian is an order under the direct command of High Priest Sardian, ruler of Lotus. They are said to be the greatest of the Sixteen Orders and the High Priest's favorite besides. Yet he uses them not in open battle, but in shadows and secrecy. An ogre battle. No, sorry. They are his ears and his dagger. They are as dark as their name. And these dark knights, whatever you call them, are backing the Bakram, eh? So, why are you come to our isles? No, bored. Does Zenobia think to claim Valeria as her own? Do Lotus and Zenobia mean to bring their wars to our shores? Well, calm down, buddy. Enough, Vice. Calm down. Your question deserves an answer. We are Zenobian, after all. Yes. Yet we do not serve as knights of Zenobia. We were banished, cast out. We're outlaws, no place waiting for us back home. Nah. We've come to find work, preferably of the well-paying variety. Fair. I don't trust you, and I don't trust your story. This is our fight. Ch sure. Vice, please. There is nothing to forgive. Tell me. What will you do now? For one, we have to get Duke Ronway out of Almorica. Duke Ronway? He is your leader. And not just us. He leads all the Wallister. The Galgastani hold him captive in their castle. They plan to execute him if the rumors are to be believed. Uh oh. And we mean to stop them. A duke? 
But if his purse matches his title, <laughs> a little rescue work might be just the thing. I do. How about it, Lancelot? Look, I'm sorry for not trusting you. It's true that if we're to rescue the Duke, we're going to need help. Then there's nothing to be gained jabbering on here, ne? To Almorica Castle. Wait. The castle is well defended. A fight there would mean our deaths. And yours, Lord Knight. And I... I've seen enough of fighting. Enough of death. Well, I mean, stuff has to happen. What about you, Denim? Would you have our aid? I would. Without your help, the Duke is as good as dead. Yeah, I mean, like fighting or not. Ah, then it's settled. We will prepare at once. Okay. You gonna be mad? Why do you not heed me, brother? I mean, do you want the Duke to die? I mean, I'm not real sure what you want from us. I know how you must feel. But what of my feelings? I don't want to lose you. Look, I understand you don't want fighting and war. You've been through a lot. Things are terrible. Like, I get it, but you can't just let the guy die because he was captured and they're gonna execute him. That's not okay. Our father is dead. A hard truth, but a truth all the same, in all the world. You are the only one bound to me by blood. I couldn't bear to let you die. Then don't. Help me out, girl. Forgive me. I... I know my words will not sway you. Only promise me. Promise you'll never leave your sister. You know, I might get married at some point. Like, there, there's going to be a little bit of separation here. What's keeping you? Everyone's ready. Oh, sorry. Family stuff. Uh-oh. You can't coddle him forever. He's no little boy anymore. Do not speak to me of my brother. He does not share your lust for blood. I have no love for war, but I'd sooner die on my feet than on my knees. Fair. You would die on the backs of others. Also probably fair. You were the one who brought them in here, Kashua. Because when I find a tool well suited for a job, I use it. Wow. At least one of us has the sense to recognize an opportunity. You should thank me. <laughs> Is that how you see people? As tools? Oh my god. I'd have expected more of a Sybil. What's a Sybil? I don't understand anything. But I will. I only want to see an end of death. Yeah. No, I, I get it, but... Lancelot and his allies have joined you as guests. Okay. To move your party to a town, castle, or other... Ooh, I'm getting, I'm getting chills. Or uh, other point of interest on the world map. Place the cursor on the location you want to move to and press A. Your party will begin to move. You can also press the cursor on the icon... Presenting your party and press A to open the map menu. Or sorry, the main menu, which contains commands available in the world map. Uh, select the party command to manage your unit's equipment or change classes. Or select a Warren Report to see more information about the characters you've encountered and the story. You can use the system menu to save your progress and adjust various game settings. Select data to save your progress or the options to change controls and other things. Refer to the play guide and the Warren Report for more details. This is fantastic. All right. Oh, my God. Oh, look at that map. That map is crisp. It looks so good. Can't read any of it, but it looks incredible. Ah, uh, all right. Um, I'm going to go to the party here. All right. Oh, look at our party. It's so cool looking. All right. So we, we have lightning, probably ice, wind, lightning, fire, wind, earth. Turtles? I don't know. Water? I, I, I got nothing. Alright. Condition. What, is, what does that mean? Oh, 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 we. Oh, God. Okay. Stop, 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 stop. What, we have parry one. Does it, does it tell us what that means? Shows us our sword. Range the area. The attack is 41. Our buckler. Our buckler has an attack? Okay. Interesting. Defense, some extra HP, some luck. 
Uh, this is one of our skill swords one-handed. Support swords, I mean, I don't... Oh, oh. Oh, we could switch. Oh, okay. Interesting. And then we got finishing move. This is very fascinating. I'm very excited to see how all this plays out. What is this amend leaf? Probably should throw one of those up there. Very, very cool. All right, we and this just br brings us to the various different places if we wanted to. So this is just like a, a quick overview. And now we're seeing like the totality of our inventory. So, a uh, uh, leather cestus, short sword of the Lombardia, the hand axe, civil staff. Okay. 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 Cool. 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 We got some range. We got actual armor laying around here. These are spells. How does how does this work? I guess they're all equipped. Is there a way to switch people? It is. There is. Okay. She has heal and divine. Uh, she's got heal and exorcism. Trust your sister and leave me. Trust your sister and. Oh, we we literally can only control our our main man here, Denim. All right, that's cool. So we have four people with the heal ability. Fascinating. All right, very, very, very cool. I like that a lot. Uh, we could cycle stats. What does that mean? With the number of each unit. Okay, number one through eight. The level. How much HP they have. Oh, that's really cool. And then their recovery time. The lowest the number, the, the fastest they're able to act. So it looks like our wizard or the guy with the red hair, maybe? It's it's the wizard. The wizard is the fastest to act with our sister and the guy with the red hair being the second. Cool, I like that. Sort manual, sort auto, change ID number. Oh, if we didn't want him to be one, he could be like 10. Okay. All right, that's interesting. So it's a nice way of ordering people. Change ID numbers all. All unit ID numbers will be reassigned according to the current order. Proceed. So you can rearrange them and then just replace the numbers. Okay, that's cool. A lot of uh, different things you can do there. And then there's the Warren report. Which uh, we have the Wheel of Fortune. I don't know what that means. There is blood on my hands. How long till it lies on my heart? It's rough. The prologue setting the trap. Goliath, the Holy Knights. So this is just going to break out into just like various different stuff. The Dark Knights attacked on a night that saw Goliath's first snowfall in years, and the town was set ablaze. A year has passed since that fateful night. Vice urges his steed onwards, bearing word to Denim that Dark Knight Lancelot is bound for Goliath once more. What is... Oh, this just brings us back to the... Okay. Okay, cool. So we can kind of relive all of the things that happened. Alright, I like that. That's awesome. I know we're going to take a little bit of time to do this random stuff to get familiarized with all the like the extras and the bits and the bobs and everything else before we get fully into the game. I am going to be doing a multitude of episodes today, so there's going to be more than one. Uh, I'm probably... There's an opening cinematic if you let the game sit idle on the main menu that I'm going to have hopefully uploaded and launched before this goes live. And I'm just going to have that as a separate video so you guys can see and get hyped up for the uh, opening cinematic. And there's a lot of storytelling and stuff there, so good stuff all around. Latest happenings from across the aisles and beyond. Very cool. The people that we have met so far, so a lot of information that we'll be able to get through. Play guides and all sorts of stuff. Well, I'm 100% I'm here for it, folks. It looks like it's going to be good, but I think we're going to break it off right here, and in the next episode, we're going to go and 
head to Almorica Castle and try to save the Duke. Uh, big shout out and thank you once again to Square Enix for hooking me up with the code for this. Uh, if I didn't say it at the beginning, I will maybe go back and say it at the beginning. I don't know. Uh, but of course, with any game where you're doing a Let's Play or any of that stuff, there's going to be spoilers. So spoilers across the board for all of the content coming forward. Uh, I'll have it, of course, denoted in uh, the description of the video and all sorts of stuff like that. So you guys will know. You guys will know. That all being said, a big shout out and a thank you one more time. Square Enix, appreciate it a lot. It means the world to me. And I'm here for it. Hopefully you guys are excited. If you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, any of that stuff down below in the description of the video, it will be there in various links and things of that nature. Like, subscribe, share. You guys know the YouTube algorithm thing. Do it. Help me. You know, grow the channel, guys. Let's grow the channel. Let's let's hit 20k. We're close. We're super close. Let's hit 20k and get beyond it and move into bigger and better things. Until the very next episode, folks, I have been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the freak show. We play, we fight, we conquer. <laughs>